Well, hello everyone. How are you? I'm so honored that I volunteered and chose to do the class for this Thursday night. Uh, it was a couple days ago and someone reached out and said, hey, could you help with this class? And I always love to teach, um, so this is just great. So then it was like, well, what should we talk about? And you guys, I'm living this right now and it was straight on my heart. It was not easy to come up with a topic. How to live through an emergency situation doTERRA style. <laughs> now, this might take a few little tangents because quite frankly, I'm living in a weird emergent situation right now here in the state of Texas. We are losing power intermittently. Hence why we chose to do a recording because I'm like, I don't know if I'll have power when we're supposed to do the live class. So we chose to do a recording. We're also um, getting threats that we might lose our water. A lot of people, um, their pipes are bursting. It's so cold, we're not used to um, insulating the pipes around here. So I know a lot of places like that sounds ridiculous, but um, Texas doesn't get seven degrees ice storms for days on end ever. So the state and the infrastructure is not set for this kind of weather. So we've had a lot of emergencies this year, right? COVID, being stuck at home, illness. I'm sure other parts of the country are having weather issues. You know, just the other day, I have one sister who's in negative 24 up north. I have another sister who's randomly in, you know, Washington state. They're getting two feet of snow. Luckily, theirs is a little bit uh, quicker to disappear. And then here in Texas, we're like out of control also. So we all have different situations. And, you know, sometimes emergencies are um, planned ahead and sometimes they're just emergence, emergency. And that could be anything from um, losing a job and now you have a financial emergency to weather related, oh my heck, we can't even have grocery stores open. So I just wanted to share just a few things that I'm doing and what I have prepared over the last year. I tend to be a prepared minded person. Um, growing up, I lived through a tornado. Um, it was not very traumatic in my uh, thought process, but I was a kid and we stuck in the basement and a tree landed on our house. And I've lived in Washington where the threat of the big earthquake is on any given moment, top of mind. So, you know, preparing to have water and food and just, you know, a few days of getting through um, when there's an emergency happens. So I've always kind of been in a mindset of we need to be prepared as best as we can. We can't control everything. Um, and we're so used to living in comfort that we forget that uncomfortable, we can mitigate some of those things. So that being said, um, I just wanna do a few little tips and tricks, doTERRA style, and how I incorporate doTERRA into my emergency preparedness. Now, um, let's just really quick, we do use our um, doTERRA internally, topically and aromatically. What does that mean in emergency? You can't use a diffuser if you have no power, but you can certainly use that on your body, right? Um, you can spray your pillow if you have that serenity night spray. <laughs> um, so you can use topical all the time. Um, water. The number one thing that I keep is extra lemon in my emergency kit. Like I literally have a kit in um, our home that's like food stash things. And um, that's where I pulled this little box out to share with you. Um, lemon, I have a few bottles of lemon oil because you never know what that water situation is gonna be. Now we have gallons of water, um, fresh, ready to go. And just about an hour ago, um, I got a message saying that we may run out of water for a day or two here in my city because everything is so stinking frozen. So you guys, this is like not fun and games. Like right now, our families, we're perfectly warm, we're set, but I just filled everything, single water bottle that I have with my tap water, which I'm gonna tell you, doTERRA girl, I use filtered water. But if I'm not gonna have any water at all and my 10 gallons goes really fast of my filtered water that I'm ready to go, well, then we're gonna have not filtered water. And in that not filtered water, I'm going to use my lemon oil, right? That lemon oil is gonna help freshen it up and make it better for my body to consume when on a normal basis, I wouldn't necessarily use tap water from where we live. 
Um, the other things I literally, you guys have this box. I don't even know if I labeled it, but now it's like emergent. <laughs> this is my emergent don't touch box. And I have just a few things in it. One of them is going to be an extra lifelong vitality pack. Now I know a lot of times people think that this is just like fluff, but let's think about that. If you're high stress and you have no nutrition, that is not a good situation. So this is something our family uses on the daily. I don't want to be in a situation where we just don't have it. Like, I mean, you know, life might happen. We may run out, but I keep an entire extra box in my emergency food stash because um, it is a food to me. We also have now the greens. Again, if I can't cook, but I need nutrition, I can do a scoop of this in, in water, right? Even that lemon water. And I know that I'm gonna have nutrition. Now, if you have, you know, a longer period of time, of course, that hunger is not fun. You guys, nobody wants to be hungry. We may not be able to eat three meals a day if you don't have electricity, if you don't have the food stash supply, but what if you took fiber and had a fiber um, option? More so, of course, I know that sounds kind of funny, right? But when you have some fiber in your gut, you have that hunger sensation. Um, it's kind of set aside for a little bit because it has some bulk in your stomach, your digestive system. So you might not feel as hungry and that might be okay for, for this situation. Also, pick one of the protein powders. Again, these are just simple, simple things that you can have on hand in your emergency kit. Now, I use these on the daily, but I have extra ones. I have an extra pouch of each in my emergency kit. They are stashed away. My family hardly even knows it's there. Um, and then what I do is I'll rotate them. So every few months, I'm going to grab a new protein that just like I'll order that and I'll put the old one in the emergency kit. So I keep rotating that because you don't want it to just sit there for hopefully years, um, but just keep rotating. Um, that will keep things fresh. So when you need them, you have them. The other things, okay, those were not in my little box, but sitting right here next to me, things that I do have is um, the On Guard because you know, this last year we've had a lot of immune issues that have become emergent, right? And even if like right now, um, we can't get out very well, um, our roads are so icy. Um, I know that we can handle most things in our home, right? So an on guard stash is, look, I even have two. <laughs> we have two. So we are not gonna have immune issues here um, in our situation, if I can help it. And then um, we use the turmeric capsules for inflammation. That's an inflammatory uh, downgrader is what I would think about it. So we keep a bottle of capsules in our emergency kit. I love knowing that if I have inflammation going on, I can take some turmeric and that will help. So in an emergency, like if we're having some respiratory distress, things like that, um, sometimes that's really needing to be like combat the inflammation. So I keep that turmeric in there. Of course, some breathe oil is another one that's good to have in there, in our box. I don't have that one here in the kit, but um, I have plenty nearby. <laughs> the other things that, <laughs> excuse me, I have in this kit is going to be the GX Assist. Um, especially if you're having to drink water that's not 100% pure and fresh for, again, emergency situations. Um, having a digest, I mean, a GX Assist, um, available, I like to keep that on hand because then I could, even one a day, the ingredients in this are really helpful for um, keeping your immune system healthy and then um, kind of helping to support and eliminate back, like the things that you don't want in your guts. So I keep that in my emergency kit as well. Um, a couple oils I love to keep is my oregano touch. Now, again, in an emergency, oregano is so hot. I don't know if I'm going to have a carrier oil with me or handy or even think about it. So I don't keep the straight oregano in my kit. Not a bad idea, but I know that using the oregano touch is gonna be really a quick and easy and safe way to use that oregano oil. Um, I have some thyme oil. Again, 
Um, all of these oils are really good for keeping your body in check as far as your immune system goes. Um, any kind of flare-ups uh, in your body that might create havoc. We got some lemongrass and some cinnamon bark. Roop. Now those are the things that I literally like stash extra away. This little box will go right back upstairs in my emergency kit. Um, now, every family is going to have their own situation, right? So um, you want to make sure to take into account what are things that your family relies on? What do you use in your doTERRA line that honestly would be traumatic to not have? Now, one thing during an emergency situation and what I'm finding in my own home is that at any given moment, we've been like three days in now of like kind of anticipating, are we going to have heat? Are we not going to have heat? It's been out for six hours. Oh, look, we have heat again. Are we going to have water? We don't know if we're going to have water. I hope the pipes don't break. Like these are all real things right now happening. Do you think that that will play into emotions? You guys, <laughs> emergency situations were not made for the weak of heart, right? <laughs> so making sure that for you and your family members that you have some support emotionally. Now, the adaptive line is phenomenal if you get those anxious feelings, right? So I like to keep the capsules in my kit, but also I know I have that adaptive touch nearby, right? So using those oils, adaptive line I think is key. Um, if your family loves that cheer oil, if you need a little cheer in your life during emergencies, think about how your family handles high stress situations on a regular day, like getting out of the house in the morning. What are you guys diffusing in your kitchen as your mornings are starting? You know, oh my goodness, we're, you know, got to make lunches and like that alone for some families and our, we've been there. My kids are older. It's not quite as crazy. Um, stress in the morning. What are you diffusing? What does your family love? Do you need to have some wild orange, that uplifting wild orange and peppermint combo? If those are things that you use on the daily to help with stressful situations, make sure you include them in your kit. Now, one thing I hear a lot of, and this is across the board, whether it's um, for food or water, or of course now even adding in your doTERRA stuff, is, oh my gosh, it's so expensive. How can you even have a, an emergency kit? Well, I'll tell you two things. Not having an emergency kit, way more stressful and way more expensive. Nobody thinks about not being prepared as being expensive, but check that out, right? That's a good food for thought. So we're not having to run to the store to get things that might have an elevated price point because of our situation, right? Think on that. Um, now, how do I incorporate getting a, an emergency supply is something I read a long time ago, is you don't have to do it all in one time. Most of you watching this, I would hope, are using the loyalty reward program with doTERRA. So how did I get my extra protein and greens is I used um, my monthly order and I added one extra thing each month. Or when I got my, um, my little box kit with my oils, I used my points for that. I had a, quite a few points and I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna stock up now. And I added those to my regular order. You could add one oil at a time you could add five oils if you want to and just be done with it, depending on how many points do you have for your loyalty rewards. You know, you don't have to do it overnight. Hopefully emergencies aren't gonna happen overnight, you guys. <laughs> and hopefully when you have the right mindset of preparing for those emergencies, then you can have a little grace period for, for accumulating that stock. So adding an extra oil, like if you guys use breathe drops a lot, just add one extra bag for one order and then put it aside. Or if you want to have, you know, that correct S ointment, correct X, I can't even say it. That is so in every emergency kit, you know, <laughs> dry lips, correct skin. Um, like that's great to have in your emergency, right? So just, it's 12 bucks, you guys. Just add one extra onto your doTERRA order. So 
you know, we know oregano and thyme and cinnamon and lemongrass, all those, I keep those because those are really good for immune system things. So in an emergency, if we start getting a cough, if we start running fevers, if we have, I don't know, anything that could come up, we have our first line of defense before we need to really start worrying, right? So we have that, but we've accumulated that. So think about even for your water, right? If you have a family of four, you need to have some water. Doesn't mean you have to go buy 20 gallons or 40 gallons or 50 gallons in one day, but each time you go to the store, pick up a gallon of water for a while, then stash it somewhere. We used to keep it in our garage, and then when we'd go camping, I would use that water out of the garage for camping. And then when I came home, I'd replace it again, keeping that rotation so it's fresh when we need it, but that it's always there. Same with, you know, some food supply, get some canned tuna, things like that. You guys just 10 cans, one shopping trip. Then the next time grab some beans. Now, if you get canned items, don't forget you need a, a uh, can opener <laughs> that is not electric. It's no good if you have a bunch of cans of food, but you only have an electric can opener. Be smart. The other thing I wanted to point out, and this literally happened to me last night, is we have candles and we have matches. Um, so when we're in the dark last night, literally, we had light, um, that wasn't a problem. Um, we had the candles going. But I'm gonna tell you guys, I don't do synthetic scent anymore. Almost zero in my life. And the candles that I had put in our emergency kit were old candles I had that have some fragrance to them. Now, if you are like me and that is really a problem and I don't even think about it because I just don't use fragrance, um, I had a really hard time last night breathing by the time I went to bed and I know it was just because I was having a little reaction to that scented candles. So when you're building your kit, think of what your family uses um, on the regular and like duplicate that. So once I get back through uh, this phase of emergency, I will tell you, I will be getting candles that have no fragrance in them for my emergency kit. I know that sounds so ridiculous. Like these have been in this kit for six years, five years, a really long time. And I never really thought about this the fragrance being an issue for me, but make sure when you're building a kit, because if you're living a doTERRA lifestyle, a lot of that fragrance is not part of your life anymore. You've learned that that really can mess with your endocrine system. You've learned that it really can cause havoc in how your body processes. You've just kind of hopefully by now cut all those yucky fragrances out of your life. doTERRA, pure essential oils to fragrance your home go that route. But then <laughs> when you're creating an emergency kit, don't forget your body will get used to not having those fragrances and you'll really want to just stick with um, an unfragrant light source. <laughs> I know that sounds crazy, but um, yeah, I'm living this real life emergency stuff right now. So I hope that you guys um, will take away that, you know, having your, your supplies for your emergency kit being prepared is so important. Um, when you're not prepared, it creates more stress than when you have prepared. And I just have a heart for that, you guys. And I'm watching it right now in my community where I said I had instant coffee and I, we always have coffee with cream in the morning. That is important in my family. And we don't use dry creamer. But in my house, we have dry creamer and we have coffee instant. And so every morning we've been able to boil water, create instant coffee. And my friend was like, what? You have an emergency food stash? Yes, we do. And I'm not going to have a caffeine headache while I'm trying to deal with stressful situations. So I hope that you guys continue to build and um, create a, a space. It doesn't have to be your whole pantry but pick a box, get a spot, put it in your basement or in your garage. Like here in Texas, things melt. Garages aren't great uh, for that, but put it in your attic. Find a spot that you can have. <laughs> My doggy just needs. <laughs> find a space where you can find a box to prepare 
and you can eliminate some of the crazy of your emergency situation. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to leave a comment. I know we'll have some questions and answers at the end of this video um, in our group chat. So I hope you guys are well. We're gonna survive this crazy Texas winter. Um, it's insane, actually. Um, I don't think they've had snow like this in 85 years or something stupid. So um, you gotta prepare for the unprepared, right? Does that make sense? Have a good night. Bye-bye.